Welcome to Principles Post number eight. My name is Laura Marriott and I am the Early Years Foundation Stage Coordinator here at Malvern College Preschool Coronation Circle. I've been teaching uh, for the last seven years in the early years and I currently teach K1 and uh, one of my passions is to make sure that we have a creative inquiry-led curriculum here at our Malvern College Preschool. Today I will be sharing with you how we encourage inquiry, creativity and critical thinking in our Malvern College Preschools Hong Kong. At Malvern College Preschools, the EYFS framework underpins all teaching and learning opportunities. Guiding the teacher-pupil partnership are the characteristics of effective learning from Development Matters which move through all areas of learning as they show us how the children learn. The teaching staff at Malvern College Preschools know that for a child to be engaged in effective learning, they need to be motivated and supported in playing and exploring, active learning and critical thinking. Observations by the teachers of the characteristics of effective learning, along with the children's interests, come together to assist teachers in providing provocations that provide inquiry, creativity and critical thinking. At Malvern College Preschools, curiosity and questioning is encouraged and welcomed by teachers as it allows children the opportunities to explore ideas for themselves. We believe the open-ended inquiry process brings about a rich learning journey which is equally as valuable as the end result. The opportunities to develop their own questions and to make mistakes through trial and error offer valuable chances for children and teachers to engage in a learning conversation and develop critical thinking skills. These are skills which equip them to continue to develop as they move forward in their life as a learner and are a collaboration between teacher and pupil. In our Reggio Emilia inspired setting, we believe that the learning environment is the third teacher and therefore it is important to have the right resources to be able to inspire creativity, inquiry and critical thinking. Teachers ensure that there are opportunities to explore stimulating and open-ended resources to allow the children to investigate and generate ideas for themselves. They then have the chance to observe the children and see how they are exploring those resources and, as part of our in-the-moment planning, think of how to extend the learning through further inquiry. Children will often guide the inquiry in a way that the teacher didn't expect and they learn together. The learning environment is vital to the children's learning experiences and here our teaching and learning staff are keen to ensure that each area of the learning environment has opportunities for critical thinking and inquiry. Each area has continuous provision to allow the children to access resources independently in our discovery time and each day teachers will have set up provocations in those areas which are based on previous observations of the children and their interests. In discovery time, children can then explore the provocations and choose the resources they need to support their inquiry from the continuous provision around them. This allows for children to take responsibility and ownership of the learning while being supported and encouraged by their teachers. This is also true of our Forest Beach School sessions that the children attend, and children are encouraged to generate questions for inquiry that can be explored there, or teachers can bring back into the preschool environment. Here in the preschool, the children are encouraged to explore and inquire from our very youngest in our pre-nursery sessions to our oldest in K2. Our pre-nursery sessions are there to help the children begin on their learning journey and offer lots of practical hands-on experiences to explore in a multi-sensory way. For example, looking at ice, playing with it, seeing how it changes. This is the start of critical thinking with the teacher, who formulates the questions and models the thinking whilst in play. As we move through the age groups, teachers continue to model for children in this way, but also start to foster independent skills for inquiry by providing opportunities that link ideas from circle time to discovery time. This may be through setting up a problem to solve that relates to a story they're familiar with. For example, how can a goat get across a river? This links to the story of the three belly goats gruff. In the school day, the children take part in a whole class circle time with their English or Mandarin teachers. 
This is time for teachers and children to work together on new learning and address questions that the children have generated in their play and for teachers to model thinking about questions or problems and how to solve them. Within the preschool, our continuous provision allows children to access resources they want and are familiar with to use when exploring these investigations about the world in their play. They might choose to use cars in construction to test out how far their car will go if they make a ramp. Teaching staff will see that this could become an investigation which could go in a number of different directions. One might be, how far can different cars travel? They can then use this as a provocation the next day and it might even become a longer term project. Thank you for watching. I really hope you've enjoyed this series of principals posts. If you have any questions, please do contact our admissions office. Goodbye.